let us see how to draw the symbol position of a pentagonal pyramid when it is resting on HP on its base such that one of the base edges perpendicular to VP. Base edge length is given as 30 mm and height is given as 80 mm. So now we shall start it from the right hand side. So base edge length is 30 mm. We shall draw a base edge or a line which is perpendicular to the XY line. So the length of the line is 30 mm. Length of the line is 30 mm. So I am drawing this line because perpendicular to the XY line in the top view means perpendicular to base edge will be perpendicular to VP. Now I am going to draw a perpendicular bisector for this line. So here this is 30, the midpoint is at 15. I am going to draw a perpendicular bisector here. It is not necessary that you have to draw it with a compass. So a perpendicular bisector. Now using your protractor from any one of the ends of this line let us take an angle of 54. So angle 54. So what is the significance of 54? 54 is the half included angle of a pentagon. Included angle of a pentagon is 198. Half of it is 54. So from one of the end, I'm going to take an angle of 54. 54. And from this end, let us draw a thin line. Now this thin line will be meeting the previously drawn perpendicular bisector at a point. Let us take this point as center. And now using compass with this particular point as center and this distance as radius. The distance from the center to one of the ends of the initially drawn line as radius. Let us draw a thin circle. A thin circle. After drawing this thin circle, in the same compass, we shall take the base edge length of this pentagon, which is 30 mm, and cut an arc to this side, and cut another arc to this side, such that it is meeting with the circle, which is already drawn. Now, from this end, let us draw a straight line. To the meeting point of this arc and the circle and from this point again another straight line to this end. Now from this point to the meeting point of the circle and the perpendicular bisector again one more line connecting these two points. This is the top view of a pentagon. Now in order to make it as the top view of a pentagonal pyramid, we need to draw slanting edges. So this is the center of the corresponding pentagon. From this center, we have to draw slanting edges to each of the corners of the base. We have got five corners for this five base corners for this pentagonal pyramid. Now we shall name the diagram. We shall start our naming process from this side. This base corner, let us name it as A. A, B, five base corners. Let us name the apex as P and center of the base as O. Center of the base will be invisible in the top view. Now let us draw the front view. So in order to draw the front view, you have to extend projectors from the top view.
Now let us draw the axis, height is 80 mm. So from this projector we shall draw a chain thin line. So the fx is p dash. Now we shall mark the rest of the points. I have marked the various points in the front view A, B, C, D, E and O. Now let us decide which all points will be invisible in the front view apart from the apex. Apex will be definitely visible in the front view. So we shall consider the extreme left point of the top view which is A and extreme on the extreme right you are having actually two points D and C out of which we shall take D. We shall assume a straight line connecting A and D. So between this straight line and the xy line, if you have got some points on the base, it will be invisible in the front. So along the base we are having C. So C will be invisible in the front view. We shall mark it in brackets. Then along the base we have got B. So B also will be invisible in the front view. We shall mark it in brackets. And O is the center of the base. O will be also invisible in the front view. P is the apex, that is why we are not taking it for the time being. P will be definitely visible in the front view. Now let us come to the front view. We shall draw the outline of the front view now. On the extreme left, we have got point A. So from A to P, we shall draw a straight line. Then from P to DC, we shall draw another straight line. Then we shall draw the base. So this forms the outline of the front view. Now we shall draw the visible slanting edges in the front view. So which all will be the visible slanting edges in the front view. So here PA is a visible slanting edge in the front view and P dash C dash is also a visible slanting edge in the front view. So if you notice along the base we have got only one point that is visible one base corner that base corner is E dash so this corner alone is visible in the front view so the slanted which is starting from this corner that is E to P will be visible so we shall join EP so these are the visible slanting edges in the front view P C and P, B will be invisible because C and B are invisible in the front. If the solid is tilted to the right hand side, it will be resting on base edge C, D. And again, if it is tilted to the right hand side, FX, P will be pointing towards the right hand side. If the solid is tilted to the left hand side, it will be resting on base corner A. This is base corner A. And again, if it is tilted to the left hand side, the apex P will be pointing towards the left hand side. 